Welcome to our life. So today we're doing ice cream. Today we're still on St. Patrick mode, but we're doing like a mm, minty ice cream today. Let me show you the pictures. So that's what we're doing today. One of our viewers uh, actually introduced me that, so that's what we're doing. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. Hola, hola, como estas? Konnichiwa. Genki deska. Let me see. I'm sharing. And I will put in my website. Website at www.tinovo.shop. And customer service is Kyla. Kyla phone number is 417-772-4020. Hi everyone. Hello Brazil. Hello, hi Pandora. Hello, hello. Ah, it's a good day today. Yeah. I don't know why. What did you say? Today is um I don't remember I don't know what day today. I just know that it's a good day. You're beautiful. I'm starting to remember the day. Might as well. Okay. So let me go ahead and connect myself. everyone hello hello Fernand. hello to brazil hello hola brazil is it hola have to say hello in uh, brazil hola hola uh gls m as ray hello hi maria good morning aloha maria nice hello hola uñas women beyond fitness hello 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 all right let's see let's try it again this time use your tea you make tea? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you make tea. You can try again. <laughs> okay, invite. Oh, wait, not yet. Damn. Okay, now. You use tea again. I, I did. You oh, make tea. It's okay, worked okay, instantly. Okay. Oh, wow. It's worked instantly. That, of yeah. Course. I'm, I was wow. using my tea. Yeah, I was using my tea. Good. Yes. Oh, I didn't know. Maybe that my other dad is using tea. Oh. Now it's ready. Okay, let's turn over. Okay, turn the light on. Everything is ready. We're doing ice cream, mint ice cream. So we're still doing green for St. Patrick. Uh, give a clover a little break. Um, or a forever break and <laughs> we don't know yet but the ice cream gonna be on here uh for ice cream we do need sugar gels gonna mix with some minty pigment to make uh, minty ice cream and we do need a pepper top coat to add chocolate chips into ice cream hi hi vb now lounge thank you everyone hi elaine all right so i am gonna choose a nude okay so I'm going to choose cream nude. Actually, no. I'm going to choose tan nude because it's an ice cream, so it's mint. I'm going to choose a warmer tone, but I'm going to mix a little pink in here too. Actually, I'm going to just layer it. It's better that way. Wickle, wickle, wickles. Hello, love in 313. Good morning. Where are you from, Loving313? Okay, now, hear this. Hi, Tio. Let me see. Such a fresh are in here, too. Tipsy. Now, my daughter is in here, too. Hello from Nigeria. Thanks for Nigeria, Alicia. Hello, Midnight Nails, Dark Tigers. Oh, oh, Michigan. 
oh, that's where that's in from. That's easy to remember. <laughs> Michigan. But don't count on me to remember. If I don't remember the day of the week, don't count on me to remember the state. <laughs> but that's easy to remember, though. Because Dustin is from Michigan, too. Born in Michigan. Born. Yeah, born in Michigan. Hi, Clarissa. Hello, Clarissa. Fury. Dimples. Hello. Hello, Lost and Found Nails. Kathy. Hi, Wind Nails. Oh, South Florida is shiny time. Do you file the surface of the tip before you apply polish or just uh, cuticle area? Uh, the reason why I uh, file the cuticle area because I want it to be more flush. So when it's on the cuticle, it don't look thick. You know what I mean? Uh, if you do gel extension, it's very good to file the cuticle first. So when you boot on your client now, you only file a little bit. Not much because cuticle is harder to file, right? Um, if you want to file the whole nail, that's better for it. That's even better. Uh, I do press on, on press on, so I don't really um, buffer the nails. But um, if you were to do like a gel X extension on your client, you have to buff it first, or else it's easy to peel. E easier to peel. All right, so now this one, I'm going to add pink into it. Hello, Kim. Oh, I, I think I talked to you uh, this week. I remember. I don't remember what about, but at some point. What's, um, what time are there? Right now it's 11.19. A.M. A.M. Central. I was just getting on live and it's like 11.19 already. I gotta stop being late. I was oh. too comfortable. <laughs> too comfortable. When I first get on, on live, I get I'm very punctual because I'm very nervous. But now I'm so comfortable that sometimes I'm like 15 minutes late. <laughs> Is that the car? It's fashionably late. <laughs> okay, now, um, so mint here. Mint's going to be here for ice cream and a cherry here. So um, I am going to now finish this now first before I do anything else. Let's get some sticker out, vendable spin sticker, to make uh, ice cream cone textures. Does it make a difference if you file the top side or underside of the mountain? Mm, under cell, uh, it's best for you to file. Now, some brand you don't have to file, it just good that way but it's always safe to file the underside so it can grab onto the natural now it's better for it why not um the top is the same theory it's just better for it um if you are in a hurry it's not crucial but it's if you can afford time to do it it's great it's better for it see this i'm gonna use this side and i already have a tweezers this morning. Oh, wait. I don't. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. It's right here. So it doesn't find me a tweezers somewhere. Actually, I found a couple pairs. A couple pairs? Okay. So let's see. If I get a scissor and cut it out. And I need a, uh, a clipper for clipping, like a uh, crafting supply, like gold flakes and there's some sticker on here. This is a sticker, the clipper where I drop it, see where I drop it? And it's not usable anymore. I just use it for clipping like uh, sticker and all that. Mm. I'm thinking maybe I cut it in half first. Okay. All right. Now, when I do a sticker like this, I like to hold it at the end. And remember that it's bad to use sticker on a non-clean surface. So it don't peel up. It's flush. If you do it on a matte nail or acrylic nail, it will peel up very uh, easy. At the end, at the tip, it will peel up because um, the surface is not um, static, static-y. Static -y? Yeah, like when you do laundry and things get stick oh, together because it's static, -y. static -y. When you have a uh, no white background, it's like that staticky. See that? Huh. See that? Yeah. Right on it. See that? Some right. And see the end. 
See? Nice and thin plus. I don't even press on it hard. Let me press on it hard. See it? Perfect. So, no white surface is a trick. We go over a sticker a couple of times this week. So, that should, uh, you should remember that. Stickery. Oh, I, I accidentally um, broke it apart. It's, it's okay. Yes. Too much other are a lot of people that are very good. So lots of results. Yes, a lot. A lot of people on here. Yeah. I would say the most most people that are watching are doing some sort of nail work. Definitely. But there's a lot that are enjoy enjoying Tino? Well, I don't know, I mean doing uh press on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some kind of nail work. Mm -hmm. Is this, I don't want to use this end. I want to use this end. Then. I hold it at the end so it's easy for me to control it. So you leave a space between the sticker and the sidewalls? Yes. It's good for it. It's really good for it, you guys. Just to leave a tiny, tiny little space. There's a tiny little one right here. Oh. I pulled it out too soon. I hate it when I hold too far from the sticker, so it's uh, it's sloppy. It's um it's not sloppy. It's uh it's wiggly on me. So it's bad if I hold it at the end right here, so I can control it easier. What's it doing now? It's pouring us down very so we we can have it. Pick up another one. Hola Jiki, hola. Yes. It's it can make your light um uh Honey, now say, I'm so glad that you demonstrate this. Absolutely. I haven't even go deep into sticker yet, but it really can save your life. I'm, I'm not talking about, when I say sticker, I'm not talking about like, like a little rainbow or little rose or um, a little teddy bear or a little Christmas tree. I'm not talking about that. When I'm talking about sticker, I'm talking about design sticker. Sticker that are in basic shape like this help you big time in design. Because you can't paint straight line. Well, if, if like, let's say I'm doing, um, if I were to do a lace design, then yes, I'm going to draw it out because that's all the design is about. But if I were to do an, a random design that it needs laces, I'd rather use stickers. I'd rather you like a uh, decal or sticker because that is just helping details. I'm not going to waste my time drawing the whole things. Unless that's the design all about, you know what I mean? So like this, this line right here, if I were to teach in chrome line, I would, I would draw it out if the design is all about it. But it's just helping. So it's cut my time down because this right here, it's just the same as you do chrome line. But if I do like uh, like baroque or something, like a rose or something like that, then I, I have to draw. So yes, with a good knowledge of sticker will help you out big time. Uh, right here, I'm just gonna chop it somewhere here. Cause the ice cream gonna be on here anyway. So I'm not gonna reach the, the top. The ice cream? We're, gonna, we're doing minty ice cream. Oh, okay. Mint. So I, I will demonstrate one last time. If you're holding it like this, it will be very hard for you. See it? It's hard. So. I will hold it like this because if I hold it like this, I can control the little head. See this little head right here? I can control it. I can bring it anywhere. 
and I touch it with the thumb. And now it sticks, so I can just drag this part anywhere I want to. See that? So there is a little hand motion trick right there. And you nail down that motion, it's going to be easier for you to handle a sticker. So get that motion down automatically. All right, now, it's been a while since I messed with sticker. It's been like a year and a half. Because I have so many material and technique that I can easily go a year without visiting a, uh, a technique. And there are certain techniques that I love, and I kind of revisit it often. So it's just sporadic to me. I haven't touched sticker in a year. Just depend on what design I'm going for. All right. So now I'm done with this. And make sure all the edge are all laid down. And top coat this. I will use matte top coat. Okay. And before I use my top comb, I do want to make sure that I flood the lips up the edge. Try if it's too close. Good morning, Bill. This is a crystal, uh, crystal sealer. I'm just using uh, top coat. And I just touch near the edge because I'm not going to leave it bumpy. I'm going to drag it out just a little bit so it's not bumpy. So now all my lips on the edge is nicely sealed. If sticker were to peel up, it would never peel up in the middle. It peel up right in the edge. Start right in the edge and it works its way in. Hear this. And of course, a little demonstration would be nice too. Hi, Lee. Good morning. Little demonstration on the sticker would be nice. This is a nail surface. Okay. And this is a sticker. And it's, let's say it's end like right here. Okay. This is stickers. So. If you notice, every sticker have a lips, a wall, right? And if when you top coat it, if you top coat it too thin, right? It's not going to cover it completely. It's not going to make it flush. It's come here and there's still a place where people can take their fingernail or, you know, accident or whatever, and it can come up. So you have to make sure that this lip is totally smooth and still at the lips. And when I say lips... I mean these lips, okay? And human eye could not see the wall, but the wall is there. You have to make sure that it's sealed, nicely sealed. Now, your sticker will never come up. Wooden matte top coat on. I believe the, I believe the crystal sealer is it's in stock, I believe. Yeah, it's in stock. The crystal sealer is in stock. Here it is. It's a game cake, for sure. Yeah, let me show you. And crystal sealer, this is a crystal sealer. And remember, if you have one and some people thought that there is two different heads, you know, yes. like one head <clears> here, <throat> and they thought that the other head would be right here, but it's not. This is a place where you can store material, like a pin. Or right. So this head, if you pop it, if you pull it, that's a needle head. But if you twist it, that's a brush head. So remember, it's all in one place. And it's in the essential category. All right. Now, while I'm waiting for it, I am going to make some ice cream. You ready to make ice cream with me? I wouldn't think that would be a real ice cream. Oh, it's, it's going to be real ice cream. You're going to want to eat it. How many times you went in the kitchen and said you were going to make something to celebrate when you were ready? <laughs> all said and done, you got that. All right, guys.
So I will take out a engraver and spatula. So there is a spatula that we have. Okay. So what's the pen for? Uh, the pen. Oh, the pen is for sealing crystal. It, what inside it is just top coat. It have a needle head and a brush head. A brush head is normal, but a needle head, um, that's actually pretty cool. It can go in between crystal. It's for, for convenience. Cause back in the old day, before that, we just dropped top coat out on the palette like this, and we use a brush to uh, seal our crystal. So now we have a, a toy where it's convenience. All right. So this is called pepper. Okay. You can always use glitters, but the reason why I don't use glitter because I'm making chocolate chip and glitter is so small and consistent. It's consistent, everything is equal and it's round. So it looks like actual pepper and I don't want it to look like actual pepper. I, I want it to look like chocolate chip. So this is flake and it's inconsistent. So with that, that is what I use to make chocolate chip. You can add in as much as possible, just however much you want to add in pepper top coat. Now, I'm gonna use a sponge. This ombre sponge, you can find at Tina Woda shop too. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna soak this up. Soak up all that top coat. So now I can play with the, uh, with the pepper, with the chocolate chip. Yeah, see that? See, it's all soaked up in the little sponge, so now I can play with it. Cause with top coat in the way, uh, sometimes you need it, but you you need the freedom to not need it too. Sometimes I don't need the top coat; I just need to play with a tiny bit of top coat on there, but not much. See that? It still have top coat on there, but now I have a lot of flake. Hi, hello, Nicole. Sugar gels. It's why I yield sugar gels. Have a nice scoop. Okay, this is my ice cream. Let me zoom in so you can see. So this is my ice cream. Okay, sugar gel. <laughs> Are you excited to see my ice cream? These sugar gels. Okay. Okay, so let me close this lid. All right, so put it in. Okay. Got me so excited over here. And I will add some green to it. Just a little bit though, not much. Green pigment. Where can I get the light stand? That is in canvasshop.co. Canvasshop.co. And he has an Instagram too. He's fresh. He's new. I love the light stand a lot. It's about um $200. 170 just depend on the base. I'm mixing it in. Mixing it all in. There's a lot of um there's a lot of sugar gel, so I need some more chocolate chips. <laughs> I need some huh? Nicole says hi. Hi Nicole. Hello. Good morning, Nicole. Twist it up. Canvas shop, yeah, canvasshop.co.co. And chocolate chip right here, I'm gonna have some on the side. But you know, you always want some on the side. I never just happy with what in the ice cream. I want some on the side. <laughs> you are not. It's a little. Okay, so some chocolate chip on the side. Entertaining. Watch how many times they think you're done, and they go to set the pen down, and, and then there's one more thing: and coconut, and walnuts, <laughs> and pistachios. And... Okay, now it is time to apply the ice cream on. Where is the? Okay, so I am gonna use a, a thicker brush. It is a pointy brush. Uh, you can use pretty much any brush, just not a liner brush. You can use any kind of brush something thick so you can scoop it on and apply it okay ready 
Oh, one scoop. And remember, this shell, it can be as thick as possible. It can be like this. You can kill it like this. It can be as thick as possible. Oh, there's some ice cream for me. Oh, my God, yes. Our dinner last night was wonderful. Yes, it was. I'm not sure what you call it, but... <laughs> uh, I think I need some chocolate chip before I'm adding another scoop. Before you add another scoop? I, uh, I couldn't have one scoop. You kidding? I can't have one scoop. That'd be no fun. I could have more than one. I remember a time we were... You got all excited and you didn't think about it. You just said like two or three scoops. And then they, as they started scooping, you realized it was obnoxious scoops and you weren't going to be able to handle it. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about? I remember. Uh, but I try not to because I I love ice cream. I'm always in the denial with it. <laughs> Kill this. I need some chocolate, you guys. I cannot just not have chocolate and just put a screw of ice cream on already. How rude. Wow. Have to have chocolate. I'm going to do chocolate here. Uh, Does need to be an art chairs. Orange art chairs. And black art gel. Okay. That, that's going to make it brown. Okay. You want to explain how you make the ice cream again? Yes, I use sugar gels. I mix in with pigment. That's it. How I make ice cream. Sugar gel and pigment. And then there is chocolate chips. Using pepper topco and a sponge. That is how I make the ice cream. Okay, now I am going to take another palette, actually. It looks lickable. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to make some brown. That's a lot of black. I need more orange. Oh, actually, I, I wouldn't mind making it darker, though. Justify dark chocolate would make you feel better about the situation. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Some black in here too. Yeah, darker. Yes, yes, honey, that's the chocolate I want. Yes, I want this. All right, now close the lid. And I am going to mix some uh, 3D jelly in there because I want it to apply pretty thick. I want it to be pretty thick. If they don't have sugar gel, how can they make ice cream? Oh, you have to uh, take gel pan and make flat ice cream. <laughs> you have to make flat ice cream. <laughs> 3D jelly. And plus, remember, guys, not every gel can be thick like this. Look, it's, it's solid. It's thick. Remember that? Most gel is wrinkled when, when it's too thick. That's why I put some 3D jelly in here, just so I can enhance the volume. Okay, now, you need, <laughs> you need a lot of fresh. Get back and just whip that chocolate out real quick, too. That's pretty. Uh, orange, black, art gel, and mix with 3D jelly. Now, I'm going to take a 10 millimeters. And go ahead and add some chocolate in here. Oh, my God. Ooh. Add more chocolate here. We can always cover it up with more ice cream scoop. God, okay, isn't it? Yeah. I'm I'm gonna leave the gold mat. If you want, you can add top coat in, but I'm not. 
because this is an ice cream cone and I think it's prettier without top coat on the gold. Mm. Oh, chocolate D, huh? Very chocolate D. You like it? You like mm. it? Ooh, more chocolate. <sighs> it is so satisfying. It's make me hungry <laughs> for chocolate. Wow. I can never get full on chocolate. I don't know why. What? I try. I try to get full on chocolate before, which is not a good thing. It's because you don't have a sweet sweet. All right. Keep this. Okay. If you ate chocolate like you fish. Oh. Now, we need to make a mint to put on the index and the pinky. We need to match these colors. No problem at all. Let's see. We have turquoise. Yeah, it looks like it's just about ready. And we have green. Like it, it's ready to melt. And then white. Kind of blown away at the, the realness of it. Yeah? Yeah. Green in. Is it going to be a yummy set? Thank you for the viewer that uh, recommended the ice cream, minty ice cream. I absolutely love the idea. She mentioned it yesterday, today I did it. That's how much I love it. Usually an idea, if I sit on it, I mean, I'm, it's okay. I feel it, but I feel this. I was like, yes, I want some minty uh, ice cream. So you mix some green, some turquoise and white together. So it can make these colors. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna add some more turquoise in there just to make it look coolers not much just a little bit so, cooler yeah to make it look cooler and Gonna add some white in. Okay, make sure you mix it evenly. Just so there's no different color gels. There you go. Now apply on both index and uh, pinky with a flat brush. It is a flat brush. Which is your favorite scoop? Um, I don't like chocolate. Uh, I like vanilla. And uh, I don't like fruit. Like strawberry, like orange. I don't like fruit. I like just plain. I like plain flavor. Caramel? Yes, I do like caramel. Uh, no strawberry or no mint is okay. I, I don't like mint neither. Even though I think mint is pretty, but I don't, I don't like mint. Um, I don't like orange. I don't like, uh, I like nut. Like nutty banana, tropical flavor. Like banana or coconut. Oh my God, I love coconut. My favorite is coconut. Yes, that is my scoop. Coconut. I love coconut. Different brand of colors. Uh, I love vanilla. Yes, I love vanilla. Um, but it has to be a certain recipe, though. Uh, in Missouri, we have some uh, vanilla shake here that are really good. Oh, wait, why am I just talking from ice cream to shake, to milkshake? What's wrong with me? Okay. Here this. Same thing here. Jerry, I love Jerry, and I always eat the Jerry first. I love Jerry. I always order extra Jerry, like 10 different Jerry on a, one ice cream. Cure this. 
Now, I do want some pink in at some point. This right here, let's do the new two Sam at this. Let's add another scoop in. Let's need another scoop. To depend on uh, how, much, how many scoops, it depends on your reference. I couldn't have just one scoop. And when you put the, the chocolate chip on, you do want some that sink into the ice cream. So it's not too dark, but you, you can tell that it's there, but it's, it gets covered by the ice cream. You want that for a little extra effect. God, this is so, oh my God. Maybe in one more scoop right here. Hear this. And we need pink ice cream. I didn't plan on it, but we need pink ice cream too. Let's do this kind of pink. Pink pigment. Again, sugar gel. Take it out. Right here. Apply some pink. Not too much, though. I think I apply too much uh, pigment. Add some more white in here. Okay, that's good like this. And you applied it on top of that mint. This is making me crave for some whipped cream. <gasps> oh, I also love whipped cream. Sometimes I eat whipped cream just by itself. I, I Google it and I convince myself that it's healthy. It have egg white in there. Um, I think that's all I have. Egg white, yeah. Just, just a tiny bit of sugar. Mm. See, I'm super denial right now. this oh wait some ice cream dripping yeah it's gonna drip right here yeah yeah oh this is good wait make sure that uh around the nail is semi cohesive nothing sticking out too much make sure the shape is nice now put it in. Red pepper. Uh, red pepper. Uh, what are you using for chips? I didn't know there's chip on there. <laughs> okay. I would need a pink. Exactly like this pink. Again. Hot gel pink. Where is it? Oh, this bright. Oof. We might need some purple at the end, we don't know. Let's see, that's kind of bright. Maybe just a little bit. Woo, that's bright. That's a hot pink. We're looking for like a fuchsia pink, let's see. Oh, perfect. There you go. It's close enough anyway. Get some pink into my gel, but it's fine. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, flat brush one more time, and you will apply the flat brush pink onto the tips. Tino, can you use that fat gel for the ice cream? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can, but you need some, um, you need some like. I, I couldn't explain it when you I just. Don't know if be creamy, but... uh, take your effect will be smoother. 
Yeah. Because it's, it's actually sandy. And texture of fat couldn't go too thick. You have to uh, apply clear texture of fat on. Yes. So, you clear texture of fat too, so it can stand with volume. I don't know that it would, it would do this. How about like, this? This would be using the texture of fat would be like soft serve. Soft serve ice cream. Yes. Soft serve ice cream. There you go. So soft. Style. See, it's like a scoop. Right. <laughs> different texture, different effect. Right. <laughs> right. Pink on here. Just a little though. We want a lot of uh, mint. We just want a little pink. It's already looking like some things. It's all in the colors. Oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, ombre brush. And we want to ombre just a little before we use a sponge on this one. Because it's a uh, uh, gel. Let's see. Your ombre brush and ombre just a little bit. Oh, heck. This mm -hmm. might be uh, a perfect ombre, but by the time I'm done. Oh, well, you look at here. Let's add some shine it on. This might be my next set. Yes, it have to be your next set. Lost and found now. Oh wait, is it not lost and found now? Uh, who's who just uh, comment? Oh, I lost it. But whatever. Okay. So some top coat to wet it out a little bit. Just add lubricant into it. Now, continue. Uh, I don't see myself not using the sponge because I want it to be flawless. But this worked out so far so good. If that is just an ombre alone, I have to use sponge, but I'm gonna put some pepper on here so I can definitely cheat a little bit. It depend. we're gonna see. But there's gonna be more detail on here anyway. You know what? I think I can get by with just that. I don't think I need to go further with a sponge. Yeah, look pretty good, Kia. What vibe? What's that? Oh, see, I'm I'm not an ice cream expert, so I'm not that bad. Yes, I'm not. I don't really want sweet. It's just sometimes when I'm near sweet, I go crazy and I eat all of it. I don't know why. Maybe it's instinct or something. I don't know. All I know is I I wouldn't order it, but if doesn't order it and it's in front of me, I'll eat it. And I will sort of like I know, and I hate that. aggressively eat it. Right. And I don't know why. You act like you don't want no more. Right. I, and I don't want it. But yeah, and I give him like a look like, oh, ice cream, are you kidding me? And then when it's in front of me, I'm like a pregnant woman. I'd be like, give it to me now. So I don't know. It's a mystery. All right. So, Pepper Top Coast, where are you? Let's have some of our pepper top coat on top of this. Okay, now. Oh, you guys, it's sexy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Chips. I love these flakes a lot because it's inconsistent. Mm. I like inconsistent sometimes when I'm I wanna achieve a certain look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like chocolate chip is inconsistent. That's what you want. Uh how much um pepper you put it on is up to you. Oh, that's that's like a lot. I need to take some off. I don't want a lot. It's up to your preference. I just don't want a lot. 
Yeah, like this. That's good, right there. That's it. Same thing here too. Here, this one. This is a top coat. You don't need to reapply top coat if you don't want to. I usually do, just because sometimes the flake is might create like a little uneven surface. So I I put on a layer top coat just to um, complete it. I mean, it's already really smooth, but you know, I, it's habit of mine. But this pepper is count as a top coat. It's dry, no white, and it's dry shiny. It's in the magic top coat category. Magic top coat is all top coat that are special, a little different than the rest. Here. It's nude, please. Oh, oh. Said I could do a nice Cruella de Bella with that pepper gel. Yes. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You're so creative. Yes. Sorry, I haven't even go deep. This is my first time demonstrating peppers. Um, I just have so many, many uh, techniques, you know. Let's take time. Mm. time. We don't want to finish it all in one year. That'd be boring, but we can, we can, we can go over everything that we do in one year. I love you. Oh God, the mansion is changing. Yes, isn't it? Wicker, wicker, wickers. Wicker, wicker, wickers, and straight down. So yes, the pepper come as it is. You have your imagination with it. And I already show you the sponge trick. So if you ever say, oh my God, it's not enough. You know, I want more. But there's so, so much top coat, you can always remove the top coat. Remember that. With the sponge. Mm -hmm. Yes, wiggle it up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, parody now. Parody say your technique are amazing. Um, need someone to do the separate for gotta see it. <laughs> uh, we can do chat clapping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh -huh. So many people, they have pepper for years, and and they they just use it for the quail egg looks. You know. Like the rock looks, the quail look. Oh, there's so many. Especially when you can only use just a flake. <sighs> Possibilities endless. On pepper, endless. Imagine with a bunch of flakes like this, if, if it is dry with minimum top coat, you can group it up together and make lace and add a little line in between to make lace. Okay, now I'm gonna use a pink nude. Pop up pink nude over tan nude just to give it a little blush not too much just a little bit just to add femininity into it femininity <laughs> femininity because it's woman day right it's woman day. Is it woman day or woman month? Did they have a month? Did they have a whole month like the gays? Or they don't have a day? Just a day? The gay have a whole month. Prime month? It's whole month. I don't know how they get the whole month. That must be some pretty good petition. <laughs> it must be some pretty good injustice. So now we get it back. <laughs> we get a whole month. <laughs> History months. Oh, what? oh, they have a whole month too. Yeah, probably, we never know. So we the same levels. We have been through it. So and we won. We won. <laughs> we finally won. <laughs> yes. So now we get a whole month. I feel bad for the people. Only have one month. Uh, one day. What you can do with on, in just one day? <laughs> you got a whole whole month. <laughs> okay, now. Pink cherry. Okay. Pink cherry first and then we 
We'll worry about the rest later. Pink cherry. Uh, I am going to start. Did you say pink cherry? Yeah, okay. pink cherry in the middle of the nail. On the left side, painted a cherry. Okay. Colored in. So see, it's a pink cherry. And I'm going to go around it with a liner brush. Says she's doing her butterfly set from yesterday. Yeah, do you like it? Is it easy? If she says so, it's really bloody good so far. Mm -hmm. It's easy. That butterfly is so easy. I done it in an hour. Such an easy butterfly to do. From the middle, going up just a little bit and draw a cherry on this side. It don't have to be a whole cherry. And remember, when you are gel, if you want it smooth, you have to stroke it. You don't go in circular motion. Circular motion wouldn't make it smooth. Stroke in motion make it smooth. Okay, now, I am going to draw some, uh, I'm going to use this for the stem. Let's cure this. And then I'm going to use this for the stem. And, and then some chocolate drip, of course. Now it's already cooled down. Remember, if you use 3D jelly, when it's out, the machine don't touch it immediately. You have to let it cool down. You have to be cooled down. And this needs some chocolate chip too. But uh, I probably want this to be flat, uh, matte. Are you mad it? Absolutely love your work. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Pepper Sota, Marie. Thank you. How do you know what do you do with your nail after you're done? You should give them away sometime. No, I keep them. I keep them because I don't redo it. I don't repeat a set because um, I'm making content. So when I make a set and I took video and picture, I don't repeat it. There's no reason to. So I keep it. I keep it because I have to present it at beauty show. Uh, you know, especially at Crystal Show, I have to present my uh, my work, and it's like uh, my portfolio. Years later, I can look down at it. I can not down at it. I can look down at it. <laughs> Years later, I can look at it, and I can uh, be inspired of it because every time that I look at a set of mine that I'm done. I can have a flashback of what kind of thought am I going through, and sometimes in life you experience uh, a phase where you have like a little block, not completely, but just a little bit of blockage. That is a time when you can reflect back in your old work and find that spark of inspiration that you once had, um, that whatever you think in that day that leads up to that design, you can have that flashback. So that's why I don't give away or I don't sell my work. I just keep everything. I put it in a box, like a, you know, like, um, like, like serial killer that they have um little trophy, you know, trophy box. I keep it. I keep it. And sometimes late at night when I eat like too much ice cream or too much candy and I feel really bad about myself, I bring that box out. I bring that box out and I go through all the design and that's how it makes me feel good. I just laugh and, and get into the zone. And I'm not going to even go any further, but that's basically what I do. Um, so now I am going to draw the stem. In the mint colors. I'm so glad you used speckle polish. I was very curious of its purpose. It, its purpose there is no um, there is no specific purpose for it. It's irregular flakes. Okay, it's in top coat, and it's inconsistent. However, you choose to use it, it's up to you. Your imagination, 
Today I'm using for chocolate chips. It could be different tomorrow. I love product that doesn't have a specific purpose because that means that it's limitless. Yeah, it means that it's limitless. Do you have yeah. any tutorials for beginners? For beginners? Um, most of my tutorial, especially live tutorial, it's not for beginner or for advanced. It just have a lot of tip and trick in it. Um, a person that do one of my design, uh, the purpose is not to do all of it. A person can look at it and say, well, I'm new. I'm not going to go that crazy. I'm just going to use this technique because I love this technique. Uh, my client loves to do ombre, so I will take, I will throw the ombre technique up here, you know, and that's all I'm going to take. I'm not going to take anything else. But an advanced person will be like, well, well, my client like ombre, but, but I like a little more. So I'm going to do an ice cream scoop on it. I'm going to learn the texture technique and the sticker technique to do it. So in one of my set, it can be dissected by people of all different level. It just depends on what you want, what you're looking for. You don't have to do all of it. So I wouldn't say that my set is advanced or beginners. It's for everyone at every level. You can take how, however many you want to take. Uh, you can take just the simple stuff or you can take the advanced stuff. It's up to you. All right. Let's see. We need some leaf. Like tonight, this set I consider moderate. Moderate meaning uh, not too easy, not too... I mean, it's pretty easy, but except for this. So it's not too easy, not too hard, but tonight I'm going to do a fairy set and I want to put our glass in it and Celtic uh, magic in it. So uh, it is an advanced set. I'm looking forward to it as an advanced set, but anything can happen. Anything can change. It could be simple, so I don't know. Now, this one I'm going to cure and I'm going to add some shading into it, like cartoon shading. Here, here this. I get, um, I get to watch him and forget the question I was going to ask. <laughs> wow, it just clicked. Thank you, Tino. I didn't see it that way. Yeah, yeah. Like, like my, it's not like, it's not like, if you notice, right, whenever do, people do live, they like, okay, guys, we're going to have an ombre lesson today. It's not that. My lie is I'm constructing a set, a feature set for my page, a uh, selective look uh, each month based on um, my opinion on trend and how I want to navigate the trend. Um, and also, I post it for you guys, too, because if it's strong, it makes hit, then your client will want to do it, right? So that's why I do a constructed set. But inside that set is many, many techniques, not just one technique. I have jumped back and forth about like four or five techniques already in this set. There's a lot of technique. Um, now here, let's add some normal pink color into it. Like, uh, like this pink and I want it to be not as bright. I don't want it to be too bright. So I'm going to add some pink right here and maybe a little bit of purple. Let's see. Let's see why it become. Look curious. I don't want it to look purple. Still pinkish. That's actually very pretty. Yes. And I don't want it to be too far from this color. So I do want to mix a little bit of this in. So it'd be kind of cohesive-ish. Just a little different tone. There you go. Now I'm going to use this. I need to wipe up a little bit. I get gels. All right. Let's see. Uh, 
I better use a seven millimeters cut the curvature here is pretty short I'm going to use the seven millimeters. Yeah, there you go. Can curve it easier. Daniel said, Tino, I never knew I could do cartoon characters until I started watching your videos mm -hmm. and giving it a try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't be discouraged if you um if you just started out or you know if if your design doesn't quite um like mine, don't be discouraged because you just started out. Eventually, you will have no choice but to move forward. Because every day you learn something new, you have no choice but to move forward. Um, it's not possible for anyone to stay still exactly where they are by watching live. You eventually you will get better and eventually I don't know how many years but you get to portrait eventually just a matter of time you gotta start you have to start and, somewhere and what they don't realize that I know is is subconsciously you're teaching them how to design right I'm teaching you how to design stand class number six I prefer yes Number six, stained glass gels. A little bit here on this jelly too. Just on one side though. For shadow. Here. Let's see. I have to make sure it look okay. Here. And then some whites for highlight. Though a cute thing, cute ring. Also, we'll see how you properly shade and highlight yes yes it's very important too white art gels take out white art gels and do some line for highlight hi uh, favolo beauty hello okay Okay, this highlight, it don't have to be in one side, it can be here, and then that can be like a little bit right here. Okay, so it doesn't matter on the highlight. Okay, make it juicy. Here. Yo, the dimension that just happened. Thank you. Thank you, Rico Whip. And it's simple too, very simple. All right, top coat and then chocolate drip again. Oh, and chocolate drip on here too. This map, by the way, is finished. Need no more top coats. So again, let me walk you through over again. This is orange art gel mixed with black art gel mixed with 3D jelly. So you can apply it really thick and it'll be smooth and it's perfect. And it only top coat. I mean, if you want, unless you want to.
Thank you, thank you. One land down. Two land down. See, I don't do even land. If this one shorter than this land, this land is shorter than this land. See that? And this one is shorter. See that? An even land. Now, taking it up. One thing about trip is as long as you have no edges, you'll be good. Just taking it up like this. Don't be afraid. 3D jelly is in here, so don't be afraid. Go for it. Some trip here too. Some trip here too. Now, don't look at the brown. Look at the green. Okay. I am going to lower the distance a little bit right here. Love this one here. Okay. And this one deserve a little trip down. Don't look at what you're drawing. Yeah, don't look at the don't look at the brown, look at the green when you go in, in here. Make it balance. I don't know if this is a lot of chocolate or not. Do this one too. This might be a lot of chocolate. Maybe I should do it on one side. Dip chai. Oh, thank you, George. Oh, George, I'm in the chai. Oh, the guy, yeah. Give me the chai. Mmm. So loud. I'm not the guy. Yes, I'm not the chai. We see. Okay, now. Put it in, put it in, just like this. Let's see. Yeah, just a little chocolate, not much. Just like this. Oh yeah, too much chocolate. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of this one. Too much. Just a little bit. Not too much. Too much chocolate is not attractive to me. Just a tiny bit, maybe one I'm dripping down with this. Okay, now, thank you, thank you. This uh, made me think of a song, Ice Cream by J.S. Okay. I have heard a lot of songs that sing about ice cream. <laughs> and they never talking about the ice cream. Or lollipop or whatever the song is. It's never really about that. Like this time when I click on this song, it's called Ice Cream Truck. I mean, it has ice cream in it, but there's a lot of naked men in it too. Half naked, yeah. It's this gay singer. He's singing Ice Cream Truck. I couldn't re remember the lyric, but it's pretty nasty. Okay, let's see. Good. Better. Q. 
here. Both of it. Oh my god. Okay. Sis and sis. It's cute both. And then you can add more chocolate if you want it to be thicker. Matte on here. With this. I have that CD uh, product by R. Kelly. <laughs> I just listened to the whole song. I did. Of course, and after you listen to that song, there'll be a list of similar video below. And if you like it, it can really send you up into a rabbit hole very quick. Here it is. You can watch it and be like midnight. Okay, let's put it in here. Here, let's cool down. Don't touch it. Let's cool down a little bit. It is so yummy, you guys. <sighs> Let me see all the comments. Uh, chocolate cold for cherry. No, not yet. Uh, too late. We're too late for it. Valentine. It's okay. Valentine next year. We have next year. We haven't covered everything in Valentine's this year. You're making cherry mad? Yes, um, maybe. I'm glad you asked me. I might make it shiny. I'm glad you asked me. R. Kelly is a creep, but um, he can make good music. I know. Plus, plus that is just based on um, opinion. I guess I don't know. I, I'm not familiar with him. I don't listen to a lot of rap because remember what I told you in high school? I tried to rap and my friend say, Tino, you should never ever try to rap again in your life. I don't know what that means. I thought I was a pretty good rapper. I think it's because of my voice. What do you think? Some trip down here too. Okay, now I am gonna have some trip right here. This set is so like I think it's perfect for some packet minty ice cream. Is that green? No one gonna pinch you. That's green. The pink is unexpected. I didn't plan on it, but I, I'm glad. I'm glad I put it in. It's beautiful that way. I'm very pleased with this set. Um, should be uh, have no crystal. Yeah, should be about two hundred. If that crystal then two fifty, it's not really hard. Really, it's just all uh, this and this. You just slap color on. It's not really hard. Um, this is a one that take work. Even this is drawing. It, you'll be quick. You can do it. Okay. Maybe some chocolate right here too, or not. Okay, that's it. Let's see. And then I'm gonna clear, and then I'm gonna make the cherry shiny just in case I don't like it. I don't know if I like it or not. If the cherry sh shiny, we're gonna we're gonna try it. We, I gotta see it. I couldn't see it now. I kind of really love it when it's matte right now. You sing karaoke, um, Tino? No, I don't sing karaoke anymore. I used to sing karaoke um, and, um, in high school, and I was at my friend's house one day, and I sing karaoke, and I sing Whitney Houston. I always love you, you know, that, that note when she, and I, you know, that note that hit really strong. I couldn't do that note, so I repeated multiple times. And my friend dad kicked me out of the house. They say, it's midnight. 
you screeching, you're gonna invite ghosts and spirit into my house. So I'm like, whatever. I just stormed out the house. I was so offended. I thought I was doing pretty good. I was so offended. But ever since, I don't do any more karaoke. And at party, people already try to drag me up. The thought that it's funny is not. It's, it's dramatic, and I will fight. I will fight them not to be upstage. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's funny for someone that sing okay, but it's not for someone that can can ruin a party with a voice. I can ruin a party. If my friend doesn't like a part to stay at the party, I get up and sing, everybody leave. Look how powerful it is. It's a gift. Okay, now. This is a set. Let's try um, to put some shine onto the cherry, just to see. I'm kind of unsure about it. Let's see. It looks really pretty right now. Plus, my 3D jelly haven't cooled down yet. Yes, I like it. I like it. Let's boost some right here, too. And turn it over so it center itself. Here. And importantly, we have a flash here. Hi, nail addict. <laughs> um, hi, I need you to help me lead a friend house. I tell you next time, uh, Lava Lai can sneak out. <laughs> That all kind of trick to leave a friend house without offending them. You just have to make them think that it's their ideas. To me, it's always singing. I don't know what you're gonna do, but to me, it's always my like, gifted voice. It's powerful. I can choose to leave at any moment. Thank you, thank you. This make me like munchy. This is so um edible. Let's see this Jerry. Mm. See this strip a little bit uneven. It's important if I have a flask here. Let's do it again. Let's make it even this time. Why oh, one coat on? Tell your client to turn the hand over and I put on. I don't know why I put it in the machine. I just take a flask here like this, turn it over, and we apply the hand in. Okay, here. Oh, she sing a lot. Uh, I do too. Hi, my voice. She wanted me to hear. She wanted to hear me. I'm a very shy person. <laughs> I'm too. I'm an introvert. I'm not an extrovert. I just seem very uh, communicative online because it's. I was talking about nails. So I'm both very uh, talkable when I talk about nails. But other than that, I'm very uh, shy. Again, especially when it comes to singing. All right, so that is our set for today. Our ice cream set for today. I enjoy it very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, everyone. Thank you. You look here today, like every day. Thank you, Nika. <laughs> okay. So that's it. I am gonna make videos, and it probably will be an ice cream. The thumb, uh, you can either do it with a cherry on the thumb. Um, you can repeat this now. You can repeat this now, and then leave a heart shape negative space, heart shape in nude color. You can do that by doing nude first, of course, and then paint the color around it. You can do that, and you can do uh, just nude and mint drip 
that'd be fun like minty drip that'd be fun too in the video i will redo this to teach and you can push on on the stripe if you want i'm not because i like it just like that thank you thank you thank you everyone thank you zoe thank you midnight tonight again uh 6 p.m tonight central time my idea is um i want i want like a fairy fairy set so i imagine the middle finger an hourglass so that would be multiple effect because i have to have like chrome and something in this hourglass have to add some shading and then have to encapsulate with 3d jelly so it looked like an, an hourglass uh, all around it is gold gilded design so that is chrome technique um and both finger um ring and index fairy butterfly glowing in the middle of the night glowing fairy and uh and then like like a dark forest vibe and everything is glowy and then i'm gonna add some like glitter around it so that is a that is a general idea but can turn out um, unexpectedly. All right, everyone. I will see you tonight. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye, and I will see you later. Adios, adios, amigas. Au revoir, au revoir. Chào mấy chị các bạn. Xin chào, xin chào tạm biệt. Hôm tối hôm nay nha. Tối hôm nay là sáu giờ sáu giờ chiều. Chicago Time mình sẽ lên làm một bộ nữa. Bộ này là bộ khó hơn. Nhưng mà rất nhiều kỹ thuật trong đó. Alright, everyone, bye bye.